Christina, Charles, thank you so much for joining me at Mobile World Congress. I'm excited to catch up on uh, VRAN and the work that Dell and Intel are doing together. Uh, Christina, maybe we can start with you. If I'm an operator deploying VRAN for the first time or scaling out my deployment, what kind of issues would I face? Yeah, it's, what we're doing is a new way to do things, right? For many years, we're deploying in a traditional way with a certain way to operate, to manage the network, and this is a new way to deploy. We have now a virtualized cloud infrastructure, and there is the new operational mindset that we need to get, that the operator needs to get, a little bit of new skill set, new ways to figure out how to do the upgrades, how to have this new cloud native or virtualized software-defined uh, network. But in general, as the time goes by, what we will see as we mature and operators gain experience, we'll see that is at the end less complex, where you can introduce new functions quickly, we have the software of great capability, so we'll get to that to feel very good about it from the operational point of view. So as that complexity level comes down, Charles, maybe you can tell us a little bit about how the TCO level is coming down, uh, specifically what Dell is, is doing on that area. Of course, so we understand that in a telco environment, there's a lot of constraint in remote locations, especially with uh, cell towers, right? So by working with telco operators, we try to understand how they operate in terms of replacing, surfacing uh, remote devices, and we, really did an innovative design by taking a traditional cut server and modify it for telco edge environment. And so by simplifying operation for telco, we believe we can significantly reduce uh, the TCO for their operation. And of course, with the new product from Intel, where we are seeing a massive performance improvement that also contribute largely into the total TCO savings. And for anyone in our audience who wants to take a deeper dive in the economics of VRAN, any resources out there for them? Yes, yes. So we will be posting an ACG white paper where we actually model out a 30,000 cell site network end-to-end simulating 15 million subscribers and looking at total cost of ownership. And in that model, we are seeing 30% of TCO saving compared to the previous generation of solutions. And Christina, last question for you. As the technology continues to develop, as the adoption continues to accelerate, what can we expect to see next from Intel? John, the future of RAN is compute. That's very clear to us. And the future of compute is integration into the CPU. Integration is a heterogeneous platform that has the general purpose processor, have acceleration, have networking, has memory on an SOC or system on a package. So that's what I think you are going to continue seeing, that level of performance, improvement performance or enhancement performance, generation over generation, but also this heterogeneous platform in a system on chip or system on package around the CPU. Excellent. Well, Christina Charles, thank you for taking the time to share your perspective with me and our audience and uh, tell us about the work Intel and Dell Technologies are doing together. Thank you, Sean.